Today I'm going to work on the Paint Store Color Project. It's part of the Learn CSS course. Number one, in style.css, find the three CSS rules that use the named color orange. The color is not exactly the right orange to match the Paint Store brand. Replace orange with the X color FF8000. The first place of orange is the background of the header under the selector header. The second location is the text for the color guide heading under the selector color guide h2. The final location is the button of the footer under the selector footer dot button. So we're going to first change here on header background color orange. We're going to add FF8000 instead. Second place is color guide h2. And last one is footer dot button. Save. Number two, make the main title text of the H1 element semi-transparent to match the spooky text themed. To do so, set the color property with RGBA to make the text black, zero, for red, green, and blue values with the 0.7 alpha value. To set the color with these values, you're going to use selector, color, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.7 on the last one. Let's save, and now it's a little transparent. Number three, give the header's background image a semi-transparent orange overlay to simulate a photography filter. In the hashtag banner before selector on line 95, add a background color with, with the value RGBA255128 and 0 0.75. Background color, RGBA. Number four, we're gonna do the same thing for the footer. We're going to add the same semi-transparent layer that we did for H1. So I added here footer before, background color with the same value as we did for H1. Save. Number five, soften subtitles which say saturation, lightness, and hue. Currently, they are the default black. Add a property to the color, swatch H4 rule to change the text color to the light gray hex value. The color dot swatches H4. I'm going to add color and paste what they gave us here. Let's save. You can see that the color changed for lightness, saturation, and hue. Number six, it's asking us to change the colors of dot reds dot base color from FF002B to HSL 350 150%. There it is dot reds dot base color let's just paste and save we're gonna do the same thing for green and blue in each session red green and blue there are 15 color cells each cell has its own rule specifying its color on style.css notice that at the beginning of each color swatch the first cell is empty find the rule of each of the empty cells and fill in the hsl value which completes the pattern for example, the first blank swatch is dot reds dot lightest dot color one. In each HSL value in the session, notice that the lightest value decreases by 15 percentage points. Following the pattern, fill in the value for the background value for this cell, HSL 350 180. Use the patterns for each of the other A rows and fill in the missing cell for each row. In style.css, there is a comment above each empty cells rule that describes the pattern. Here, there is a comment, red lightest decreases by 15. So if we notice color 2, 3, 4, and 5, they keep decreasing the last number by 15. So 65, 50, 35, 20. So for reds.lightest.color1, this will be the result. 350, 100, and 80 following this pattern. Let's save, and there you have the first color. So we're gonna do that for each one that has a comment and it's missing the value here. The second one, red saturation color. This pattern is increasing 15, so we're going to change 85% to 100%. Save, and for red hue, here's the comment, increases by 15. This is 335, so here would be 320. Let's save, 
and there it is. We're going to do the same thing for green and blue. Let's save. And now all the colors have been filled. So red, green, and blue. 